is day one for the new traffic plan here in Spitestown, St. Peter. And while officials believe it will help to ease some of the traffic congestion in the northern town, residents are unhappy they weren't consulted. Ask people a question, the people who, who live and reside and work in Spitestown. Ask them a question because I'm, I'm sure there are things that people can, can, can implement or, or to suggest that make it easier. Spitestown resident Carlos Harper. He's taken issue with several of the new traffic changes, including the decision to designate some parking spaces for coaches. You have down here by um, Sand Street, Orange Street, okay, a one way. All right, for what? You because um, you want parking for um, tourist tourist buses. There's a empty car park behind Shot Smart. Let them drop the, the people off there and drive wrong and park there. He's also unhappy with the erection of no entry signs at the entrance to Chapel Street from the KNR Husbands Highway. His concerns are shared by fellow resident Austin Husbands, who suggests the one way should be in the other direction, as he believes access from the narrow Goddings Alley will create a bottleneck. There's also a physician. If an ambulance has to get to him, that ambulance now has to come along all the way along the um, Queen Street Road go through Gardens Alley and then turn left onto Upper Chapel Street. There's a mortician there as well. He has to do that to get to work. There's a florist there as well. Um, so you can imagine if there is an emergency at the doctor's office, how long that ambulance will take to get there, siren or no siren. A CBC team witnessed several motorists driving through those no entry signs. But the major confusion came along Queen Street, which is now one way. Despite new road markings and a right turn only sign, at least a dozen vehicles were observed driving the wrong way. Another source of concern for residents is the time limits on parking spaces. Mr. Hudsbuns is querying how they will be monitored. If I park in Spitestown and I leave that spot and I go home, my wife takes the same car and comes to Spitestown and parks there and I get a ticket. Who knows how long I've been parked there unless you have adequate policing. And a police force is already 300 men short. Huh? We are going to find the time to put people in spikes and do that. There are no parking meters, so we don't know how long the car has been parked there. In a statement, Deputy Chief Technical Officer with the Ministry of Transport, Works and Water Resources, Jason Bowen, urged residents to give the changes a chance. These changes should allow traffic to flow freely in a northerly direction while providing adequate space for other activities such as parking and deliveries. Again, I wish to make the point that traffic management is flexible and after a period of observation, we are willing to make amendments to anything that does not Work. Mr. Husbands is in the process of creating an online petition calling for the ministry to revisit the new rules. Forms will also be posted in several businesses for signatures to be collected. Shirika Griffith, CBC News.